Hey, welcome to Kate Crafts. I'm Kate. Today I would like to share with you a different sort of video. This one is just going to be coloring. I had recently done a project much like my platform pop-up where it was a labor-intensive love project and I was so excited to share it with you that when I went and sat down to edit all the footage, it was a long video. Let me tell you. And I didn't really want to cut out all the coloring because I do enjoy coloring and I do enjoy showing you the combinations that I use for my Copics, or at least the ones that still presently work. So I thought that's what I would do. I would show you some of the color combinations that I used for some of these Lawn Fawn products. Now, I have some of the Simply Celebrate critters here with the little birds. I have the before and afters cake that I end up using and I use the little rug from a Christmas stamp set by Lanfon. I can't think of the one off the top of my head, but I'll try to remember to leave, you know, everything I use in the description box below. But I have used this before. I know quite a few years ago I did a birthday card for my friend Jessica over at Jessica Squirrels and I didn't have a plate to put her cake on, so I ended up using the rug as a substitute. And that's pretty neat about like Lawn Fawn, is that they have all sorts of stamp sets that miraculously all go together for some reason. I mean, I know the reason. It's, it's a great marketing tactic, if you ask me, but I didn't have a plate to put the cake on. And I found that if you use the rug from one of the Christmas sets that it makes the perfect plate and all you gotta do is add your shadow to it to show what the cake you know on the plate if you know what I mean so I'm just going back and forth with all these color combos which it was kind of hard to choose which ones I wanted but I thought this kind of came together really nicely in the actual card itself I do use some sparkly glitter cardstock that is of Recollections brand and I'm hoping to have that video up this week, if not maybe next week. It's It's been pretty rough at, at the Kate Crafts headquarters. Um, I recently got a job termination from my job. They are closing their doors at the end of this month, so we have been very busy with work and trying to get the remaining orders together and... I've been uh, looking for a new job, so <laughs> I wish I could work my way through glitter and um, cardstock as my reward for hard work, but sadly I need a 9-to-5 job in order to supply this habit. I know a lot of you probably feel me on this front because there's never enough money to buy all of the craft things, so I'm hoping, you know, maybe I find something really cool in the meantime, and I still plan on continuing with my markets, which I hope to go a little full force though now that I need to find some kind of different employment. And I'm hoping not to go back to the factory as it's very loud and I need to switch up. So I'm still going to continue to make my crafts and my cards and give you uh, best quality content that I possibly can give you. But for right now, I might be a little spotty until I can settle back down into a routine. But don't worry, Kate always lands on her feet, or sometimes her bum. And only once did I land on my face. <laughs> well, that last bit was actually a roller skating accident that happened a couple of years ago. You see, I had gone skating with my niece, and I'd had a helmet that I had just procured from an online store and I was so excited to go roller skating in the parking lot with the kids that my niece was so excited she wanted to wear my helmet and my stopper on my skate ended up catching something and I flew forward and my face bounced off the pavement and I'd had a black eye for about two weeks and it was pretty bad and that was about the time that you had to wear masks so all you saw was my poor black eye and it was it was just a state it was it was terrible i laugh at it now but at the time it was just it was horrendous so yeah that was the only time i really fell on my face anyway back to the coloring so i've gone ahead and matched up uh, as much as i can with the copics that i used in the lawn font ink 
And we've just gone ahead and added some sprinkles in there or some jimmies, depending on where you are at in the North America area. And then we're just going to take some Sakura Stardust pen and just color those in to give them a little bit of sparkle. And I just love these colors all together. I think they're bright and cheery and they definitely made my day. So, so this concludes the coloring. I really hope you stay tuned for the next video. And as always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Take care.